Hi guys, how are y'all doing? Happy Friday. Hope you all have had a really good week. I have my phone here because I need to refer to it in just a little bit. So you see me doing stuff like that, that is why. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's product five, what did I call it? Friday five, yeah, five product reviews. And this is a collaboration with Joanna over at Mommy's Angel Eyes. I'll link her below and that way you can go check out which five products she's reviewing for you all today. She's a glass collaborator for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm really excited because I'm finally able to share with you some really exciting things with you all. And I actually have a giveaway for you all and I have some discount codes for you guys as well. So I'm really excited. I have been playing with some things for a while because I wanted to, again, bring you some really thorough reviews on the products and not just be like, oh, I use them this week. But no, I've been using these for a couple of months now. So thank you so much to Beauty Junkies and the staff at Beauty Junkies because they have been amazing in their customer service and just they've just been a pleasure to work with. I am so excited that I even know about them now. So they contacted me a couple of months ago. So when they first sent me something, they sent me there, which I was so excited because I love blending brushes. Their Pro Tapered Blending Brush. So it reminds me a little bit of my Sonia Kashuk brush that I love, which is the um, 109 brush. I use it a lot. So it's very similar to that one, except um, it's just not as wide. The Sonia Kashuk's in white. The Judy, Judy, uh, Beauty Junkies is in black. And so you'll just notice they're about the same height. This one's just a little bit more, uh, it's just not as like flat as my Sonia Cash. It can get sometimes, sometimes this one can almost be like a 217 for a Mac, depending on how it dries or whatever when you wash it. Um, I do want to tell you all, I have used these a lot. I have washed them several times and no shedding. I've had no issues of shedding, no bleeding of you know, the brushes or anything. I've had no issues with them and that was something I really wanted to take my time with so that I can come back and report that to you guys and be like, hey, guess what? No shedding, no bleeding. However, I do wanna let you all know that, um, that they are committed to amazing customer service. And so if you ever run into an issue with a shedding or a bleeding of the brush or something like that, contact them and they'd be happy to send you a new brush or whatever, anything to make you happy and pleased with their customer service. So that is something I'm, you know, really appreciative of in a company. I got some birds singing a song out there. They are happy today. Um, but anyways, they are really committed to offering really good customer service and, and quality products and things like that. So yeah, when they showed me the brush that they were sending me, I was like, wow, those look really good. And I just had a good feeling about them. And um, the brush they sent me with that was their flat kabuki brush. And when I first saw it, I was like, wow, that looks a lot like the F80 flat kabuki from Sigma. I've never ordered Sigma brushes because they're really expensive and the, the shipping can be really expensive too. I got really close to ordering one time and the shipping was like 20 some dollars. I was like, whoa, I can get like a whole like load of brushes extra for 20 some dollars. So I was like, I'll hold off until they get like free shipping or something. But anyways, so, and I noticed that their prices are really reasonable, beauty junkies. So I was like, yeah, I would love to check these out. And if they're really good, I would have some really great quality, affordable brushes to tell you all about. So yes, the verdict is in. I really like these brushes. They're really soft, which is really nice to have in a brush. They're really soft. And um, so let me tell you, anyways, I got back to them. I let them know I did really like them. And if I could get some discount codes for you guys and do a giveaway for you all. And they were so amazing to work with. Not only do they have discount codes for you guys, they also have a giveaway and I was able to squeeze in three winners for you all. So three of you guys will win a little something. So basically you'll win like a Kabuki brush for the giveaway, okay? Um, three of you guys. So if you need a Kabuki brush in your life, then you have the opportunity, uh, a big opportunity because there's going to be three winners to win a Kabuki brush and try it out for yourself for free on Beauty Junkies. Thank you so much at Beauty Junkies. And also I have discount codes for you all. So let's see what these are again because I cannot memorize them for the life of me. The discount code is, if you want to get the set, which I'm going to show you right now, the set of Kabuki brushes, it comes with five, you'll get $10 off the Kabuki set if you use the code BRUNYT10, which is like for the blush and brunette, you know what I mean? BRUN, like brunette, but um, YT YouTube and then 10. And then for 25% off an individual Kabuki brush, if you would like to purchase one, then you use BRUNYT25. So those are the discount codes for purchasing these. 
Um, so ah, I've been so excited. I was like, oh, I cannot wait to um, share this with you guys and get you all an opportunity to try these, not only possibly for free, but to even try them at a really good discounted price. Okay, so your five pack will come with a flat top Kabuki, which is just like the F80 from Sigma. And this is, I mean, this, because they have all like, they're very dense. If you notice, they're very dense. They have a lot of brush it, bristles. So what that's going to do is it's going to provide a full coverage for you guys, especially if you do more stippling motions or patting motions as opposed to blending, but you can also blend out. Like what I do a lot is I'll apply my foundation combo um, with my hands because of like the, with the ones I use, and then I will blend out everything just to make sure everything's blended. I don't have any like finger marks anywhere with a brush. Okay, so you got this one that's very much like the Sigma F80 in the five pack. Then you have an flat angled kabuki in the in the five pack so it's basically the same thing almost it's just a little bit angled can you all tell just a little bit angled okay dense as well great for full coverage even if you don't need full coverage you can blend it and get a sheer coverage or a more sheer coverage okay i always do full coverage on myself i'm a full coverage type of girl i love full coverage just because it's full coverage doesn't mean it needs to look cakey okay so um i just Want to clarify that okay then you get a round kabuki so you can tell the difference there this one's more rounded you get a tapered kabuki which i was super excited to try this little tapered kabuki because that one like you can it, it kind of can act like a beauty blender or a beauty sponge of some sort if you wet it a little bit or put some fix plus or any type of a setting spray um or a misting spray and you can you know blend out concealer with it or even set your makeup with this you know with some powder okay and then the last one is the angled kabuki so it's different than the flat angled kabuki you see the flat angled is completely fat fat flat and the angled kabuki is like a rounded angled kabuki you see that anyways like i said i have washed these several times i had no complaints i am so impressed with the quality of these brushes and the prices and i think the price and with the discount code and everything this is a steal so if you need some new brushes in your life or you just need brushes period because brushes totally make our experience in makeup application then take advantage of this okay i will have more details in the description box below but oh i'm so excited for you guys i'm so excited for to find out who my winners are and who's able to try these brushes at this amazing price and to hear your feedback as well because I really think you're just going to love them as much as me as well as the customer service. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much to Beauty Junkies because they've been so patient with me and so understanding, not pushy whatsoever in me taking my time to fully test out these brushes for you guys. And um, they were so completely cooperative and awesome to work with to offer you all discount codes and um, I'll give away everything for you all and, and you know agree with me and offering three of you all an opportunity to win a brush so that is amazing and I'm so grateful and I hope you guys are grateful as well because that's that's really generous of a company to do so I'm really excited about that okay a couple more products to go you know you all you know I'm not one to be cutting stuff and sweet and like to be using things like this but I really love this It Cosmetics CC Cream. I've had it for over a year, about a year and a half now. I love it. I need to get it again. I will at some point. I love this foundation because, well, they call it a CC Cream. Now, I have the color Fair. Fair is the lightest color and has a yellow undertone, which is perfect for me. It is like perfect for me. And I actually mix this right now in my foundation routine because I love getting the, the 50 um, SPF. It's a UVA and UVB protection. So you we, we are covered with that. It comes with an anti-aging hydrating serum and it's full coverage. I love full coverage. Everything I use is full coverage. Um, so I like that it comes with a pump. It's so easy to pump out and it's a really light, uh, I'm sorry, you guys, I, I can't even, I don't know if you can see in there. I'm going to do a get ready with me or something with it. So you can actually see this. Um, but I really just want to use it for when I use it on my face. But anyways, if, if you like full coverage or if you like a sheer coverage, even if you want a sheer coverage, you can do that with this. Just, you know, blend it out um, or use a brush that's going to sheer it out a little bit more. If you want a more full coverage, it will deliver that for you as well. This is going to give you a natural finish or a dewy finish. So just FYI. And if you want to matte it down or not have a shine look, 
then just set it with a powder and um, and set it in, in patting motions either with a sponge or like a I forgot the name of them the little pads that a lot of the powders come with the little pads you know and that will mattify you out if you want that type but I like that this SPF doesn't cause me to look white or anything like that in photos like I've used this forever and I look so good like in person and in pictures I don't have any issues with this making me look really white or or just weird in pictures or too shiny or anything like that so if you haven't tried this yet they do have like those little sample or like trial sizes I'm really hoping that was my dog. Anyways, they, they have those trial sizes that you can get in the front of Ulta, in that little travel size area, that you can try for a lot less. Um, again, I'm in the shade Fair, so if you have a yellow or a gold undertone and you're like me, then that would be a good one to try out, but you can try their testers and all that. But anyways, yeah, my sister gave me the idea to actually cut this because I recommended this to her. I recommend it to people all the time. My sister's a teacher and then she coaches after school. She's done tennis and swimming. And so when she was asking me about a foundation that'd be good for all that, I was like thinking SPF for her. And then I'm thinking something that's gonna be long lasting and all that kind of thing. So she has loved this and she bought another one, but she had told me, she was like, you know, if you actually, oh, my dog is freaking me out. He's making all these noises. Um, <laughs> So if you actually cut it, she's like, if you cut this, there's a lot in here. So I need to just keep cutting it because, uh, okay, hold on. I need to check up on something. I'm going to leave this film in. If anything happens to me, y'all going to hear it. I'm alive. I made it. So my dog was just making a bunch of noise. I left that camera running though because I was like, if somebody kills me, at least maybe this camera will die and they won't even know. And then like people, you know, investigating will hear everything on tape. <laughs> I watched a lot of Dateline. Physician Formula blushes if you haven't tried them and you are on a budget or you're just a junkie and you just want to try them. I love their blushes. The quality is so fantastic. Hold on, let me get some alcohol in my hands. This one's called Blushing Berry. It's their multicolored blush. I'm wearing it today, but I'm wearing it with the highlighter, so I just want to let you know I'm using the, um, uh, sorry, I'm all out of breath, man. I was in life-saving mode. This Too Faced Natural Eye, I love this color right here. Uh, it's called uh, Silk Teddy. And anyways, I use that for my highlight a lot because it's amazing. Anyway, so I have that, but I also have that paired with this blush. And this one's more of a really feminine, girly pink. But I really like these blushes because they, uh, they just give a really youthful, I don't know, they have a nice texture. Um, they don't feel cheap or anything like that. They have a nice texture, you know? and they just look really pretty on the skin. So Physician Formula blushes in general, but this is the color Blushing Berry, just a really feminine, girly pink. Lately, I've been really feeling these softer pinks, you know, and I'm just embracing, you know, the feminine feel. Okay, last thing to talk to y'all about are these NYX um, Anastasia Brow Pencil Dupes. So I have an Anastasia pencil here. This is their Brow Wiz, and I'll put links in I don't know, like prices and stuff like that. I think they're like $21 or 18 or I don't remember. And um, yeah, seriously, you guys, I'm going to link below Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom video. She did like a um, comparison of the two because this was her holy grail pencil, the Anastasia. And then she switched over to the NYX because she says they are identical. In fact, I've heard people say that they actually prefer the NYX over the Anastasia. Um, but NYX, I think the NYX are $10 each, but then you can get them even cheaper if you get them at Ulta with like buy one, get one half off. And some of you might be thinking like, why would I need two color of brow pencils or, or two? Like maybe like you just want to have one for when you run out of the NYX, you know what I mean? You can already save on money. Or a lot of us like to use two different colors to do our brows like I did today. This isn't going to be like a video more focusing like on the colors and collection that I have. It's more on focusing on the quality and the comparison of them. So, um they do feel the same. So Anastasia is right here and then NYX is over here. Okay, I like that they're both short. Now what I don't like about the NYX packaging is I wish they put like the little swatch color. At least I'll have an idea of like which one I'm picking up because every time I grab them I have to look at the name of the pencil and I can't just look at the color so that is kind of annoying because I, you know, got these for my kit. I have in my kit, I have um, the It Cosmetics Your Brows But Better pencil, which is my holy grail. I love this pencil. Um, and this one also has a short little spool. I've talked about this a lot to you guys. 
and I have the color Universal Transforming Taupe. It's the only color it comes in, which works on a lot of brows, but not all of them. From NYX, I have like a blonde, I have a, a chocolate brown, I have a taupe, and then from Anastasia, I have like one for redheads called Auburn. But anyways, um, so yeah, Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom is no longer buying Anastasia pencils because she says the NYX has the exact same amount. I think it's a... Uh, 0.003 ounces. So they both have the exact same amount of ounces. Yeah, they have the same amount of ounces. She says they both last her a month. It's different for everyone. It depends on how you, how much you use your brow pencil. But um, so that's what made me go out and collect some of the NYX pencils for my kit. And I even looked because I wanted to make sure um, I wanted to make sure. Sorry, someone was texting me that you know, is Anastasia's waterproof? Is there a difference there? Anastasia's Brow Wiz does not say it's waterproof. Their pomade is, but not the Brow Wiz. So in that case, then they are pretty much, they're the same thing. So um, yeah, if you want to learn more about them, there's definitely a lot of like side-by-side -side comparisons of these two products, but I wanted to tell you they feel exactly the same when I use them, they feel the same. This, the Anastasia, the NYX, and the MAC brow pencils all feel the same, like the actual crayon point. They're very fine and, um, they're very, very like rigid and sharp, okay? That's how they all perform, they're pigmented. Um, my favorite is the It Cosmetics one because even though it's a very fine, it's not as like sharp or rigid. So I feel like it's, um, it just, it looks softer. It doesn't look as rigid. I just feel like it blends a little bit better into the brow. But I could see why like more rigid would be you know, preferred for some people because they want to mimic like real hairs and they want it to look really fine like a hair. So I could see the benefit of that too. So it's just like your personal preference. So I want to share with you guys that. All right, so that's it for my Friday Five for you guys. I'm going to put details down below for the giveaway. To enter, all you got to do is just say what you are most excited about with these brushes. Like almost like um, what is making you want to try these brushes? You know what I mean? Is it the price? Is it the quality? Is it the customer service? Is it the discount? Like, what is it that is making you um, the most interested in wanting to try out one of their brushes? And that will get you entered into the giveaway. And I'll put all the rest of the details down below, so make sure you read those. Also, go check out Joanna's video down below with the five products she wanted to share with you guys today. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're new, and give me a thumbs up if you are excited about this giveaway. All right, see you all later. Bye.